I think you all know how difficult it is to transfer your WhatsApp data from an Android to an iPhone. It's really difficult to find a free way. In this video, I'm going to show you a jaw-dropping, step-by-step way to transfer every single thing, every chat, every image, every media file. Wirelessly, no paid apps, no laptop, no hassle. And it's not just WhatsApp, your gallery photos and videos come along too. So stick around because you won't believe how easy this is. Firstly, we'll start by ensuring that we have a complete backup of our WhatsApp data on our Android phone. Just in case anything goes wrong during the transfer process, we'll need a backup to restore everything back on our Android device. So let's just open WhatsApp and make sure we've backed up all our chats and media to the Google Drive so that if anything goes wrong, I still have my backup. Now let's move to the iPhone. This is a very crucial step. First of all, you need to go to your iCloud settings and first of all, sign out from your Apple ID. You need to enter the password and then you just sign out you if you want to keep a copy you may or may not doesn't matter i am expecting it to be a new phone so let's not have any data no issues so i'll just sign out and then i go to a general settings and then scroll down to the bottom and see transfer or reset iphone and then get started and continue with erasing your iphone this is a very crucial step why because you need to go to your setup page of your iphone to make this transfer happen from android to iphone when you want every single thing to to get copied from your android to your iphone when you're switching to a new iphone you need to go to the setup page so for that reason we have to reset the iphone so once your iphone is getting reset just take your android device and head over to the google play store just search for move to ios app it's a free app download it and it will be ready to connect give the required permissions and it will ask for a one-time code which you will get from the iphone when it's on the setup page as you can see, the iPhone has completed its, its reset and now it's on the setup page. You just need to continue with the language, with the country and make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi and then set your iPhone passcode. And once you're on the transfer page, we just need to click on from Android. The iPhone is ready to pair. Now you get the code that you have to use it on your Android device to connect them both. Now you have to select what data you want to transfer. So I'm just selecting my contacts, my Google accounts, and also I select WhatsApp, which is my main thing. So once you select WhatsApp, it goes to the WhatsApp screen to make it ready. It's just preparing the chats and all the media, the entire data. So let it complete. Depends on how much big your WhatsApp data is. Okay, cool. It's almost done. Now I'll be redirected back to the move to iOS app. As you can see, it has fetched my WhatsApp data. It's around like 2.9 GB for me. So once everything is selected, just hit the next and sit back, relax. The process can take up to like, let's say two hours, most probably depending on how much data you are you're transferring, but it will be done automatically. You don't need to do anything manually. So just sit back and relax. And that's it. It's completed. And now you just complete the setup on your iPhone. It will ask for your Apple ID. You can pro provide any Apple ID that you have along with the password and everything that's required to do the setup. Just complete the setup on your iPhone. You can keep the Android phone aside as of now and just complete the setup on your iPhone. As you can see, my new iPhone is completely set up. Uh, since I did not transfer the apps, so I need to download the apps manually if I want. As of now, I don't, I didn't want any apps as of now to be transferred. I just wanted the WhatsApp. So I can just download WhatsApp from the App Store. Go to App Store, download WhatsApp. If you remember, I transferred the gallery photos as well, right? I've got all the photos and video that I had in my Android phone. So yeah, there you go. Now let the WhatsApp get downloaded. Finish it. Okay, let's open it. So provide the same contact number that you had on your old Android device and then it will be sending a code for confirming to move all your WhatsApp data from the Android to the iPhone. So you might get the code in your old WhatsApp that's present on your Android or in case your Android has logged you out from WhatsApp. I have a fix for that as well. So don't worry. So you have another option over here down. You have you can send your SMS in your phone number as a text message. So you can select that. So now the final transfer process has started. So let the importing complete. And there you go. Boom. I got all my chats, all my data, every single thing into my iPhone. These videos require a lot of effort. So please help me by liking the video, sharing this video and subscribing this channel. I'll be useful again in the next videos. Till then, take care.